people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, once again, one more again, we see our next Jamaican is in the news for all the wrong reasons. And people, in this case, this man take it or took it to the furthest extent. I am speaking about a Jamaican and his name is Andre Sterling and he is said to be 35 year old and people based on the information, based on valid documentation, this man was about to be one of, we are talking about the Yankee the most wanted and people that is not a good list. Now people according to the report it is said that this man got a traffic stop about a week ago in a place called Ionis, Ionis. I am speaking about in Cape Cod, I am speaking about off Massachusetts. And he was stopped by a state trooper and that state trooper's name is John Lennon. And based on the information, it is said that during that traffic stop, some sort of thing kick off and him basically can off of the state trooper and it end up hitting him in his hand and the can end up in a ballistic vest. Now based on the information, it is said him take away himself. So people, I am speaking about close to Massachusetts so therefore he would have driven past Connecticut and end up past and end up in the Bronx because based on the information it is said that he was taken out yesterday in a pre-dawn raid by the US Marshals we are talking about all of the top four for them in America so people them take him out and based on the report it is also said that two of the Marshals they were hit and people hear this one of the marshals he received some sort of con in him tool and it is that it ended up in the barrel so people the point that i am trying to make is that if you see how sad this man is or unfortunate this man is or how lucky this man is in the first instance as it pertains to the state trooper it ended up in his ballistic vest in the next instance when them come for him it ended up we are speaking about in the barrel or in the toll of one of the marshals so people may just show you now people based on the information it is said that about two days ago or a couple of days ago they found this car in connecticut and they tracked him down and it led to a, an apartment in the bronx we are talking about in new york now people one thing that we understand as it pertains to america as it pertains to the people I'm up there, as it pertains to the Pope and the FBI, DEA, whatever, they don't play. They do proper investigation. Them dip on top of everything like white pan rice. May I talk about like a ticks and like Jamaica. So people, like I said, this incident occurred maybe about a week ago last month. And people, before them can put him on the infamous, we are talking about Yankee Most Wanted. He was taken out in a blaze of can. So people, me just show you that these Jamaicans, they don't understand that whenever them go to America, specifically these people they don't play so therefore if you know say you're at and you know say you have some sort of tool or some sort of we are talking about um contraband may talk about cocoa or some sort of bob marley sometimes it's best when you understand your situation and know that i better you take a lesser charge or lesser trouble than basically take it to the furthest extent so people the point or the moral of the story is that he is gone because him challenged the popo and he is gone because when them come for him he challenged the marshal and people him end up on the s-h-i-t-t-y end of the stick point blank and period now at the end of the day the popo the marshals they are wondering they are pondering how this man leave all the way from INS, all the way from cape cod all the way from massachusetts past connecticut and end up in an apartment in the bronx so people they were wondering they were pondering did he get some sort of assistance so people we show you so these jamaicans they are very slick especially the hustlers so people the question that we have to ask is this how did it go from a simple traffic stop to it going way way left where him can up off of some sort of state trooper and then can up off of some US Marshal people there is something fundamentally wrong we are speaking about the thinking of these person they make things go from bad to worse or and people we see say in this case it end up in the worst case scenario for him because he is now gone he basically tapped out we are speaking about he is sent to the afterlife by the popo by the big people him up there
point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel through Jamaica Buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next thing that is, well, not popping in the news. I am speaking about an incident that occurred on November 29, 2019. And the family member, and a family member, he contacted me and he asked me if I had any sort of details as it pertains to the case. And I told him, true, that I did not. So people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Negril, West End to be specific. And I am speaking about a Jamaican man and his name is Osborne Cecil, Cecil Richards. And he was said to be 49 year old and also his Italian wife. And their name is Patrizia, P-A-T-R-I-Z-I-A -I -I Richards, and she was said to be 45. Now, people, if you remember this case, I am speaking about a case in which the man was taken out. Him and his wife were basically taken out A-S-S-I-N-A-T-I-O-N style. That means that them tied them up and basically conned them up. We are talking about inner the melon. Now, people, when the family member contacted me and he asked me if I had any information, I said I remember the case because I spoke about it on my channel over a year ago. And you know what I mean? I kind of forget about it like most cases in Jamaica. Then basically go cold. Now, based on the family member, it is that this man lived in Negril, West End to be specific. And people, if you know where West End is, I am speaking about after you pass that famous place. I am speaking about Rick's Cafe. We are speaking about that water place where people always are jump off and a dive. Rete, Lele, blue, blah, blah. So anyways, based on the information from the family, it is said that they were taken out in a very bad way. Him and the wife, who we had just married maybe about over a year ago. And he had been living in Negril West End to be specific for in excess of 15 years. He was down there by himself, no other family member. And it is also said that he had a business, we are speaking about, on the beach, on the Seven Miles Beach, in the vicinity so people if you know that club we are speaking about jungle nightclub he has a business on the water we are speaking about on the seven miles um beach so people we are speaking about a good location and people it seems as if somebody wanted that location and from the information that i got from the family member it is said that the day after he got taken out him and the wife got taken out we are speaking about in the night the next morning his friend or his assistant he was there opening up the man's store and selling from the man's store so people, me just uh, show you see how these dirty Jamaicans are. You see where bad mind, you see where covetousness, you see where people want people things and basically can't wait for them to leave and have all sorts of motive to take out persons. Forget what they did not work for, what they did not invest in. So people, me just uh, show you the man body did not even go cold enough. May I talk about this happening at the wee hours of the night? And then by next morning, early, early, just before dawn, the people them in the people them place, I sell the people them things. And based on the information from the family members also, it is said that them read and them take everything. And people, if we remember the details of that case, the person that went and take away this man, them take fridge, them take appliance, them take any and everything. So people, me just to show you how cold these Jamaicans are. And people, you have to understand that bad mind exists everywhere, especially in a Jamaica. And people, the fact that this man also married a beautiful woman, we are speaking about a person from Italy and people. I am not saying that that makes her any better or makes him any better. Me just to show you how them think, how them pre, them bad mind, very, very bad. So anyways, people, what is even more disturbing about the whole situation is that the family member told me that when they contacted the popo in a grill and they tried to get some sort of assistance, there is no sort of information. Them don't know nothing. Everything is mute. 
And people, what was even disturbing or very bad about the situation is that based on the account of the family member, they said that when they went to the power power station to get some sort of assistance to go by the house to check it out, to see what was there or see the situation. There was power power, there were like a hundred power power at the station. However, nobody wanted to leave. However, they claimed that they did not have any sort of vehicle. And when a vehicle eventually came and they went to the place, within about 30 minutes, they were ready to leave because they had no sort of, we are speaking out, them not care about nothing. So people, the moral of the story is this. Whenever people get taken out in Jamaica, whether it is a Jamaican citizen or a foreign national, it seems as if the cases, they just go cold because the poor poor them lazy. They are not doing any sort of follow up. They are not doing any sort of investigation. And even when persons are at the person place where get taken out, it seems as if the poor poor don't think that these persons are any sort of suspect. People, it is sad. It is disgusting point blank and peer so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up